Hello, welcome to Roboting. I'm Professor Panda. I will be building the Robo Animal Digger today. All the pieces that we need are here inside the class kit. I already prepared of the pieces that I need, so I'm going to tell you all the pieces. First, we need heavy cell two, three pieces of heavy cell two. Now we need also heavy cell four, also three pieces. I have here light cell three, only one. And we have here special gear six, so we need four of that. We have connector two, four connector two, and we have connector C3A, one of these. We need also axle, two different axle. We have axle 64 and axle 45. Also, we need wireless remote. Because we have wireless remote, we need also the remote receiver. We need a main board. We have the battery case, four wheels, two DC motors, and two three pin cable. Because we're going to use the battery, we need also have batteries here, four double A, and we have also four three four A. Let's start building. First, we need to get our three pieces of heavy cell four. We need to connect them all together. It should be properly connected. It should be like this. And get two pieces of heavy cell two. The first, we need to connect the first heavy cell two at the back. And you will have small box like this one. The other heavy cell two, we need to connect it on the top of the first heavy cell two that we used earlier. After a while, you will have it look like this. Next one, you need to get your axle 64, two of them, and the connector C3A. This connector here should be placed inside of our small box. Should be look like this. And put the axle at the side, the two axle. And you will be having look like this. After that, you need to get two gear or special gear six, put it inside of the axle, halfway, also to the other side, halfway through, and get two wheels and also two connector two. We need to put the first wheel on the first axle and get the connector two lock it in so your tire will not be falling down when you uh, when you're playing later same on the other side connect the tire on the axle and place the connector to also and after a while you'll be having this now we need to put it on the side first then let's get our two dc motor Connect the two DC motor connector uh, all together. Then get your heavy cell two again. Put it on the back. You will be happy like this. After that, we need to get our axle forty five. We're going to put our axle on the DC motor on the white one here. As you can see, you have look like a plus sign or multiplication sign so make sure the axle is connected properly just push it in to lock it so it will not fall down also on the other side it will not fall down then get your axle and gear connected together also on the other side halfway through then get your tires pull it in also same way that we put earlier 
your connector to to lock the tar together so it will not fall down also on the other side and now we need to connect our DC motor to the first part of our building process earlier make sure the wire will be in proper place connect it all together as you can see we have already the wheel base of our robo animal decoy now let's get the lights out free you can put your lights out free on the top of your DC motor and then our battery pack we need to put it on the top the lights on three something like that also we have the main board we're going to connect our main board to our head cell in front so you have something like this so now we're going to connect our wires to our main board we have three pin cable wires we have two and the dc motor wires make sure our wires for example you have the left motor and the right motor make sure the wires connected properly on the main board on the top of the main board we have motor one left and right so because this wire is on the left side, we're going to use the polarity of the red on the top and the black on the bottom in motor one, left. And on the right one, because the DC motor is on the right, we're going to put it motor one, right. So you will have something like this. So now let's, we need to connect our battery pack to the main board. We're going to use three pin cable. Make sure the battery and the cable, as you can see we have three different colors. We have the left, we have on the left the white one, in the middle the red, and on the right is the black one. Always remember, left is always white color for the battery pack. The same on the main board. You need to connect the left white color on the battery pack. So you should have something like this. Because we're going to use remote or wireless remote, you need to put a remote receiver. How to connect the remote receiver? So you can see we have S positive and negative. If we're going to put the wire white is always on the S should be like that on the top of the main board so you can see we have this slot here one slot here make sure the white cable always on the bottom now this is our robo animal decoy because we're going to use battery, we need to put the battery properly on the battery case. We're going to use AA batteries for the battery case. Make sure you're going to put it properly, positive on positive and negative on negative. Now slide in the case. And also for the remote, wireless remote, we are going to use also battery. We have three only battery here. Make sure also positive is on positive and negative is on negative. For the main board, if we're going to open the main board. Power button is always the black one. When you press it, it's already on. That is the power already. 
the mode of the main work, it should be 7. So, that is the mode. We are already in 7. But if you want to change the channel of your mode and the main work, you need to do is click the gray button, then the power button. Make sure the channel of your main work is also the same of the channel of the mode. So, it will go, uh, it will work properly. Because the channel 7 that we have here is also should be channel 7 on our remote. So as you can see now, I can play with my robot. And that is how to build the robot animal decoy. Thank you.